as we get this legislation signed, $1.9 trillion, it is one of the largest investments in our country's history. But if we take a moment and think about what our country has gone through, over half a million of our fellow Americans have died from COVID. Close to 30 million have contracted COVID. Thank God, under President Biden, we're now seeing people vaccinated at, at increasing numbers, close to 2 million Americans a day getting vaccinations. But we've also seen this past year where families have been under unprecedented strain. The idea that many families have not been able to go out and hug a loved one, see a grandparent. Uh, families have dealt with kids being stuck at home week after week, month after month. We've seen a lot of our small businesses you know, continue to try to roll with the punches and just try to stay alive. Businesses that have been around for decades, you know, literally on the verge of going bankrupt and going out of business forever. So this bill's not perfect. But I think America is worth it. I think the $1.9 trillion of investment to get our kids back in school, to make sure that everybody who wants a vaccine can get a vaccine in an efficient manner, that those small businesses that have struggled so hard should get the kind of support they need, that those families that have been waiting to get back to school but in the interim still need that high-speed Internet connectivity can have it, and that the vast majority of Americans who need that extra help that these checks will provide uh, will give us the kind of relief that is long overdue. Um, I wish this bill had been more bipartisan, but the, the best evidence is that the vast majority of Americans, no matter what political party they belong to, support President Biden's plan uh, to get the virus behind us and to get our economy restarted. Um, this is an important piece of legislation. It's historic in many ways. It finally takes on the issue of child poverty in, in, in a way that we haven't in 30 plus years. I mean, the virus exposed how many American families and how many children go to bed hungry each night. This is the United States of America. No child should go to, should go to bed hungry. So the increase in the child tax credit, $300 a week for most uh, individual children, will provide that needed food assistance, will provide that needed child care to allow their moms and dads to get back to work and make sure their kids are going to be safe. Um, this is a giant step forward for our country. And God willing, in, in a few short months, we'll be able to see the, the country completely reopen in a safer, more effective, but also in a way uh, that is a more just and equitable country.